Hi, Above Life Channel, it's Bridget. Nice to see you today. And I am in a new setup here. I'm downstairs in a room that we're actually going to convert into a little studio. So hopefully it will be a good place for us to connect. Now the lighting's a little tricky as well. And so we're working on that. Ordered some new lights and things too, I guess. You know, this whole thing of like video recording is like a really big deal. Like there's all so many components to it and I am a creative type and I enjoy the creative process as well as I have always had this dream, you guys, I'm gonna share this with you. I've always had this dream to build a business that is a business that encompasses all that I am and with the values of inspiring your spirit filling you up with hope, encouraging and motivating, providing a very solid strength and courage for people who watch, you know, to get you more excited about life, more engaged in life. And through sharing my gifts, through showing up fully in my authenticity, good and bad, like you notice, we're a little rough around the edges here and that's okay. And I recognize that I don't do my sessions the way other psychics or other channelers or other mediums do it. And that's okay because guess what, I'm me. And I hope that by being me, it gives you, somebody out there that's watching, that little nudge to just say, yeah, this is who I am. You don't like it, lump it, walk on by. Just walk on by. Isn't that a song? Walk on by, dum bum 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 bum. Okay, I'm gonna have fun with this video. I may not even post it. But maybe I will. This is really who I am, you guys. All right, so oh, I want to do a share. I've had kind of an intense morning and I want to talk to you about that, let you get to know me, see me in full authenticity. So I had to go get an MRI. I have a kind of a shoulder thing going on. Um, I think it's a repetitive kind of stress injury type thing from doing yoga and um, lifting some weights, not heavy weights, you guys. like. Uh, clearly, I don't have like massive muscles, bodybuilder muscles or anything, but doing some different things to strengthen my body so that I can be a better vessel, higher vibration for spiritual energy. And that's been a huge commitment of mine for the last two years. And so this summer, I, I kind of over got to a point, I think, where maybe overextended that um, workout part. I don't know for sure, but something's going on. And so here we are four months later and I'm getting checked out this morning at an MRI. And it was an intense experience for me because I'm a big, huge chicken. Yes, I've had four children, naturally, natural childbirth, not meds. And like, so proud of that, like a badge of honor. You moms out there, you know what I'm talking about. But that's like a really good thing. You know, you get this baby, it's totally worth it. Well, I'm not like, you know, when I'm getting my shoulder thing done, it's just a picture. MRI is imaging scanning, right? It's just a picture. But before they did that, they had to put this huge needle into the joint. Like I thought, okay, if I don't have to have an IV, okay, better. I'll be more calm then. Won't be a big deal. If I just have to get a little shot, no big deal. I didn't know it was like a big shot, like the size of a freaking pencil. And they have to use like a x-ray machine so that they get it in the right place. I'm thinking, what, 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 what do you mean get it in the right place? Oh my gosh, it's like a dye, a contrast thing. So they're putting all this fluid in there and they're squeezing it in. Ew, I'm not in the medical field. For those of you who are, it's probably no big deal. It's like getting your hair cut or something. For me, no. The less information about that than the visual imagery, the better for me. Just, just do what you need to do. Tell me if it's gonna hurt, if it's gonna be hot, if it's gonna sting, how long it's taken. That's it. Don't give me the details like, okay, the needle's going in. We're past the tissue and now we're into the joint socket. I mean, ugh. the people that were at, the healthcare people at the hospital were fantastic. Thank God, so kind. And for those of you who work in the medical profession, thank you for when you have a good attitude, even if you have crabby patients, because the reason why we're crabby is because we're stressed and we're scared. And so thank you to them. I appreciate that because it helped me be calm. But you know what else? I had three spirit friends that decided to pop in as soon as I heard they were gonna give me a huge shot in my joint. I was like, what? Uh, no thanks, see you, bye, I'm out of here. 
and I had three friends show up. First was Prince in the afterlife, who is a common spirit friend of mine, just shows up randomly at times. It's kind of funny. He enjoys that, doing that. And he's like, oh, I can calm you down. I'll help you out. It's not a big deal. You can do this. You can get through this. And which isn't his normal thing. He's like, I'm not really into the medical thing either. He's kind of like, mm, yeah, but I can calm you down. I can keep you, keep you calm. And then <laughs> second was David Bowie. David Bowie pops in and says, mate, you are not the mellow guy. You're not the kind of, you're not known for your mellow, you know, peaceful bedside manner. Let me help her. Let me help her out. I can get her into the starry night energy and help her feel better. You know, let me help her. And so they're talking a little bit and they're both there, which is kind of funny because I'm listening to their conversation while this is happening. Then I see, so the, the two of them are here. Then I see a little head kind of come up above that and it's John Lennon, his glasses, right? Iconic glasses. John Lennon says, oh man, he says, man, uh, imagine peace, Bridget, imagine peace. And I laughed. I had to laugh because I'm like, really? <laughs> the trifecta, Prince. <laughs> David Bowie and John Lennon and I thought John I need to interview you I have not had a conversation with you privately or on the Above Life channel I need you to be a guest he's like oh yeah sure yeah that would be great just very mellow and I said yes I love your energy I will totally receive that for healing he said yeah my pleasure my pleasure no problem no problem it's very so I am going to do a channel of John Lennon. So I hope you will watch that. But I wanted to give you this video, a little bit of a get to know me video to understand that my psychic life is quite interesting <laughs> and how we, all of us are connected. All of us are supported. All of us have access to spiritual helpers, to God. Yes, you have a direct line to the president of God, of the universe, which is God. Whatever your God is, source, creator, cosmic consciousness, you have access to all that wisdom. You don't have to have a special past. There's no credentialing. You've got it. You were born with it. That part of you that is source, that is God, that is that oneness has access. And I hope that by sharing some of my experiences, yes, true, I know, I know I have high speed access, like high speed internet, like I got it, I got it. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can't connect just because I have some, you know, I, I, that my skill set, my gifts are, are that. It doesn't mean you don't have that just because you're not at, at the way, you don't, just because you don't have the experiences I have doesn't mean you're not psychic. Doesn't mean you're not intuitive. Doesn't mean your spirit isn't guiding you. It 100% is. That's just the truth. That's the facts. That's the facts. And I think pretty soon we should probably start talking about how you are a channel. Do some videos about that. Talk to you a little bit about that. I mean, if you're interested. If you're interested in learning some of that stuff, I'm happy to do some videos about that. If you'd like, go ahead and leave that in comments below if there's other topics or intuitive stuff you would like to know about or if there's stuff you want me to do videos about myself if you're interested in something the way I do it or that kind of a thing go ahead and ask and if if enough people would like that then I certainly am happy to do those kind of videos as well but let's be clear at above life channel the purpose is to inspire your spirit fill you up with hope to focus on your own life it's your life, so live it. Live it is the point here. And so we do that with every week, you're gonna get a new channel. You're gonna get a new channel. So don't worry if I do videos with other topics or helping people to understand about channeling or intuition or psychic stuff, how that works. I'm not changing the nature of the channel. I won't do that. The focus is weekly channels from afterlife insights from celebrities and well-known people. And, and historic figures, perhaps. Maybe we'll get into that genre, I don't know. I go where my joy is, what feels good to me, because that comes through in the videos. If I'm just doing things, just turning them out, just to, you know, give people what they want and focus on the audience, uh, that's just not me. I can't do that. So if you, <laughs> I just, I connect with and I interview the people that come through that I am connected with or I resonate with or I'm drawn to or, or that feel like I can learn something from or I'm inspired by. That's how it happens, you guys. That's how it happens. And, and I hope that comes through. It's really authentic. This is Bridget at Above Life Channel. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you comment below if there's other videos and topics you'd like me to cover as well. Thanks.